G'day guys, um, today I'll be just showing you how we're going to install your uh, porch and A-frame uh, veranda here. Uh, on the ground here I've got all your pole structure laid out. So through to your, all your three vertical poles, which are going to hold everything upright. Your two scrotter bars, the wider eyes. And on the top of the front of the van, we're going to have the bird's beak to secret spreader bars. There's only one coming off that bracket up there, out to the leading edge. Another one off the centre. And then in the porch fly area, I've got a spigot to see clip. It locates up there, outwards, and off the uh, awning, out to the leading edge. So that's, that's all your pole structure included there. We've got your three double ropes. Uh, which of course are included there. Now I'll just grab your material and we'll show you how that all uh, gets installed there for the van. So it's all one big piece. Now the way I've got it folded up is I've got the material doubled up on itself up into the, the keddus line which feeds into the end flat pit and onto the uh, sail track on the front of the van there. So I do this all the time, so I hope I don't make it look too easy for you. <laughs> right. So what I've got here is the piece that slides into the anti-flat kit, which is off of the awning itself. So from here, it's a bit tricky, but need to go over the top of that um, tensioning arm in the morning. Feed it in, down the side, for the bottom track of the end flat fit. You can see here I've got the Velcro return, which is there to attach and hopefully weatherproof as much as we can on that side of the, on that top side of the material there. So once I've got that section in there, that'll hold it and stop it from sliding down. Now here, just going to create a nice big loop and then over the top of that arm again. On that track. Perth Park. Now we need to get it in over the front side of the van. Right. So just creating a nice big loop again.
jump over the other side and just give that a bit of a tug over. Off the front of the end there. So now I've just got to get all your pole structure in place, which will start at the van side. So we're starting here at the driver's side front of the van. Nick's got the vertical pole there, I've got the spreader. And we'll grab this corner. Find that section there. Get a bit of height on that pole. Is a spigot to C clip. So I've got the spigot down the one end, little C clip or Lego hand down the other. This one here fits into that spigot locator there. Pop that into position, pull the lever down, and then out C clips on the leading bar there. And we just want to try and get as much tension as physically possible and then lock that off. And then we've got the Velcro tabs which accommodate that pole. Now. Attaches that there nicely. So you've got the second one up there. You can see how that one works. I won't worry about that one at the moment. So we'll go ahead and continue on with these other spreader bars. That's another Another spigot to C clip. This one locates in the upper arm of the awning. Just there. Once again, it's located in under the clamp. Lock it into position, tension him up. And then spell great tabs again around there. Got um, another two over here. These two on the van are the bird's beak. 
And you see it looks like a little bird's beak there with the sea clip again on the outer edge. So it's just a matter of locating into, I don't know if you can see that really clearly, little bird's beak just locates in like so. Once again, under the clamp, just holding that in position with the tension. Clamp your on, tension as much as you can, clamp it off, Velcro. Two more bars to go. Same again, bird's beak off the centre of the front of the van to the C-clip. There we go there. Thank you, Mark. That's just to prop your material up, stop it from bellying, catching any water, so on and so forth. Then we've got on the porch side, we've got this guy here, which is a curved rafter, locating onto the centre of that one there, just locks into place, and then spreads out into that one, and then once again, just get a bit of tension on him, lock it off there. And that's your porch and veranda set up then obviously we've just got batteries with ropes off them but you'll have your double ropes off of the three vertical poles there and any extras that you may want to purchase down the track you've got, you've got tie down points in the centre or between the verticals so you've got two on the front edge one on the side you got there to get more tension on that fabric one on the driver's side out here as well. Help with the tension on there again. So that's it guys, that's the Fortune uh, A-frame veranda all in one setup. Thank you.